Hello everyone, welcome to Pabli Connect. Today in this video, we are going to integrate two software applications, Telegram and Google Calendar. So the use case here is, whenever there is a new message in Telegram, we want to create an event in Google Calendar. First, let us know what these two software applications are all about. So Telegram is a messaging app, whereas Google Calendar helps you to schedule your appointments, meetings and events. So the problem here is that Telegram and Google Calendar don't have any integration between them. And that is why we are going to use Pabli Connect, a third party application software to integrate both these software applications. The best part here is you don't require any knowledge of coding. So let me show you this on my screen. Okay, so here I am at Google and now I'm going to go to this URL section over here and I'm going to type pabli.com. Okay, so this is the website of Pabli and now we are going to go to this product section over here and here you can see connect. So I'm going to click on it. Okay, so now we are going to sign in. Now because I have already signed in, that is why I am here. You can also sign up for free in just two minutes. Here, I'd like to mention one more thing. You can try out this integration in Pabli Connect absolutely free. So if you want, you can create your account now and set up your own automation. The link is available in the description box below the video. So I'm going to scroll down now and here you can see connect. So I'm going to click on access now. Okay, so this is the dashboard of Pabli Connect and now we are going to create a new workflow. So I'm going to click over here. So let us name this workflow as Telegram to Google Calendar. Okay, so this is the trigger dialog box over here when this happens. So you have to choose an app over here. You can add action steps by clicking on this plus button from here. So now you can see Telegram to Google Calendar. So here we want to integrate Telegram with Google Calendar using Pabli Connect. So what we are going to do is first we'll integrate Telegram with Pabli Connect and then we'll integrate Google Calendar with Pabli Connect. So here I'm going to choose Telegram okay so now in choose method you can see set webhook or watch updates so this is the trigger method over here okay so now here this is the trigger set webhook or watch updates now you will ask me that what is trigger so trigger can be said as happening of an event so here the trigger is set webhook or watch updates so in many other cases you can see many other trigger methods as well in case you don't get the trigger method of your choice, you can contact us at admin at the rate pabli.com and our team will help you to create your trigger method of your choice. Okay, so now I'm going to connect with Telegram bot. Okay, so here credentials, you don't have to worry. In new credentials, you can see this token. So what is token? Token is a kind of credential which helps you to build a connection between two software applications. Here, in this case, we are going to connect Telegram and Pabli Connect. So here you can see instructions are written over here. So what you have to do is you have to go to Telegram and then you have to search for bot father. And then you have to text bot father this slash new bot in the message box. And then you have to press enter. Then you also have to enter the name and the username of your new bot. Okay, so let's follow these instructions. So I'll go to Telegram web. So I've already opened my Telegram here. So now I am here at Telegram. So now let's search for bot father. Okay, so you can see this bot father with an official tag. So I'm going to click on it. Okay, so now we are going to start it. Okay, so you can see as soon as we send the start, it has started sending us some messages. So now according to the instructions written in Pabli Connect, now you have to send this message slash new bot to the message box. So I'll go to Telegram and let us write slash new bot. Now the slash new bot is going to help us to create a new bot. Okay, so you can see now it is saying us that we have to choose a name for our bot. So I'm going to name it as Google Calendar Bot. Okay, so we have given a name to our bot and now it wants us to give a username. So I'm going to type it as Google Calendar underscore one underscore bot. 
so it has accepted this username now you have to remember that we have to add this bot word in the end otherwise it won't accept this username so now you can read done congratulations on your new bot you will find it at this link so now you can find your new bot in this link so now you can see this we have got our token so i'm going to copy this token from here and now i'll go back to pably connect and we are going to paste this token over here so now this token is going to help us to build a connection between telegram and pably connect so i'll save this okay so now you can see this webhook url over here so in some cases what happens is when you choose an app over here and you choose a method after that you have to copy this webhook url from here and you have to go and paste it inside the trigger software application but here in this case you don't have to do it because we have already built a connection with token so now when you click on save and send test request what will happen is the webhook will be created automatically the data will be sent to this url without us going and pasting this url in the trigger software manually so let me show you i'm going to click on save and send test request okay so you can see a webhook was set so now whenever there is an activity in the trigger software application pably connect will capture the data automatically okay so now after this you have to capture the webhook response but before that what we are going to do is we are going to create a new group in our telegram web so i'm going to go to telegram so now what you have to do is you have to create a new group where you have to make your new bot as the admin but before that first let us add your new bot in the conversations so i'm going to click on this link okay and now i'm going to click on start okay so you can see we have added our new bot in the conversations now let us create a new group so you can create your new group from here i'm going to click on new group now we have to search for our new bot so google calendar bot so you can see this is the bot that we created so i'm going to click on it and i'm going to click on next so now you have to create a group name so i'm going to give it as telegram to google calendar okay so now let's create this group so now we have created this group where our new bot is there so now you have to ensure that your new bot is the admin of the group and you can do that by using your mobile phone okay so now we'll go back to pably connect and now what we are going to do is we are going to capture the webhook response so i'll click on this so now it is waiting for webhook response so we'll go back to telegram and we'll send a message okay so here i'm going to write a message okay so our message is going to be new event integration of telegram and google calendar okay so i'm going to send this so now we have sent this message now let's go to pably connect and see if it has captured the data or not so i'll go to pably connect and you can see we have got the api response over here the id is here first name pably demo okay you can see the title of the group telegram to google calendar you can see the date and you can even see the text new event integration of telegram and google calendar so now i'm going to save this okay okay so now you can see this date is not captured in a proper format so when you are using google calendar we need the date to be in proper format so that we can fill this date in the google calendar so what we are going to do is we are going to format this date and bring it to a proper format so what we are going to do is we are going to add an action step over here in order to format this date so i'm going to choose date time formatter this one and in choose method i want to format the date so i'm going to select this one so now let us connect with date or time formatter okay so now we have some empty fields over here and we have to map all these information from the map details from here okay so now date required so here you have to enter the date which was captured in wrong format that is this one okay so now let us map it date this one okay so now from time zone so time zone is going to be this one asia slash kolkata okay i have put it now format now you have to select the format in which you require your date to be so i want it to be this one so i'm going to select this one to time zone again asia kolkata so i'm going to just copy it 
and I'll paste it over here. Okay, so now we have entered all the data in these fields. So now we are going to save and send test request. Okay, so you can see we have formatted the date in a proper format and now you can see the date and time is in a proper format. So now I'm going to save it. Okay. So now what we have done is we have successfully captured the date of the event, but Google Calendar also requires the duration of the event. So for that, we have to set an end date for the event. So now what we are going to do is we are again going to add one more action step in order to add or subtract the time. So I'm going to click on this plus button again. And here I'm again going to choose date or time formatter. And here this time I'm going to choose add or subtract time because in this way we are going to set the duration of the event. So I'm going to select on it, connect with date or time formatter. Okay, so now date. Here you have to put the date in a correct format that we got from our API tool that is this one. So we want this date to be mapped over here. So we'll go and search. Remember you don't have to capture this date but you have to go to API 2 and we have to select this one. So I'm going to select this date. Okay expression that means how long you want your event to be so for example if you want your event to be for eight hours so you can just add plus eight hours one minute one month according to you plus one day because i want my event to be finished for the next day so now we'll go down to format so here now you have to again select the format of your date so i'm going to select it as this one okay from format again you have to select the same one this one okay so we have successfully filled all these data over here now we'll go and now we are going to save and send test request okay so you can see now our event will end on 5th november at this time so i'm going to save this okay now this 5th November has come because we have kept it as one day plus one day and here it was 4th November. So I want my event to last for one day. Okay, so now what we are going to do is we have successfully finished a first step integration that is integration of Telegram and Pabli Connect. So now what we have to do is we'll begin with a second step integration that is integration of Google Calendar and Pabli Connect. So now I'm going to click on this plus button. And here I'm going to choose Google Calendar, this one. And in choose method, you can see there are many action methods available, but I want as soon as there's a new message in Telegram, I want to create an event. So I'm going to select on this. You can select the other action methods as well. And if you don't get the action method of your choice, you can contact our team at admin at the rate Our team will help you. Now create an event. Connect with Google Calendar. So I'm going to click on it. Connect with Google Calendar again. Okay, so now you have to select the account through which you have connected your Google Calendar. So I'm going to select this one. So I'm going to allow it. You don't have to worry about your data. It is 100% safe and secure. Okay. Now you can see we again have some empty fields and we'll map the information that we have got from API 1, 2 and 3. Okay, so calendar here, you can select whichever you want. For example, here in my Google Calendar, I have ticked only for Gary Monroe. So I'm going to let it be Gary Monroe. The title is going to be the message that you wrote in Telegram. So I'm just going to map it. This one. Okay, description, you can write a description on your own, but here I am going to map the name of the sender. So first name and the last name. Now Pabli Connect gives you a unique feature where you can map both first name and last name together. So location, if you want, you can just put it or you can just leave it blank. Now start date time and date time. Now here is where our API 2 and API 3 come in the role. So here you have to enter the date that you got from API 2, that is this one. So let us map it. So we are going to go down. This is API 2. So start date time is this, 4th November. So I'm going to click on it. And the end date time is going to be the third API response. So it is here, 5th November. So my event will end on 5th November. Okay, so time zone. Again, I'm going to copy this Asia Kolkata and I'm going to put it here. 
okay visibility not required guest so you can enter the email of the guest that you want for the event so now i'm going to enter the guest name over here okay so email colon abc at the rate gmail.com okay so now i'm going to close the bracket okay so we have entered the email over here now event recurrence rule now this is used to set the occurrence of the event if you want to create a one time event you can just copy this and paste it over there or if you want to keep repeating this event for specific time then you can just click on this tool over here and you can set it according to your needs but i want my event to be a one time event so i'm just going to copy this from here and i'll paste it over here okay so now we have entered all the data in these fields so now i'm going to save and send test request okay so you can see we have got the api response that means we have successfully integrated google calendar with pably connect so you can see we have got the id the event you can see the link it was created on this updated the summary so everything is over here so now i'm going to save it okay so now let us go to google calendar and see if a new event is created there or not so i'll go to google calendar okay so you can see 4th november and the event is integration of telegram and google calendar the start date and time is here and date and time is over here and it was created by pably demo and the guest is abc@gmail.com so now we have successfully finished our integration of telegram and google calendar so now let me show you this again with one more example so that you can understand how this process takes place in real time so i'll go to telegram and now we are going to write a new message over here second event telegram and google calendar integration okay so i'm going to send it so we have again sent a message in telegram let's go to google calendar and see if a new event is created there or not so i'll go to google calendar so you can see it has come so second event telegram and google calendar integration the time is same the dates are same and abc@gmail.com the same guest okay so now let me go back to pably connect and now i'm going to minimize all this okay i'll minimize this as well okay and this so let me explain you what has actually happened in our example so as soon as we sent a message in telegram bot what has happened is the message went to pably connect and then the pably connect sent the message to google calendar and thus it helped in creating a new event over there so now every time a message is sent in telegram automatically an event will be created in google calendar so we have successfully integrated telegram with google calendar using pably connect not just these two software applications but you can integrate any software application using our pably connect if you have any queries you can contact us at admin@pably.com our team will help you to automate your workflows you can also visit our website at www.pably.com thank you